ladies and gentlemen. We're at the Hopkinton High School. Okay, and that was Eve's first dive. is going to do a 202A. That's a back flip straight. A little over on the entry. See what the scores say. Five and a half and five. Next dive is going to be a 301B. That's a reverse dive in the pike position. It's a 1.7 degree of difficulty. Decent entry. Six and a half and six. Next dive is going to be a 401B. That's an inward dive in the pike position. Eve's doing 11 dives tonight, so she's the only diver from either side. Nice entry there, very high. Scores on that dive? Eight, seven. Eight and seven. Very nice. Next dive is a 5221D. It's a back somersault with a half twist. We have 11 dive format tonight, so the first six dives qualify for a regular high school meet, and then the other five. Uh, can make for a qualifying score for All-American or um, other national events. Looking for a little more arms in there, but not too bad. Let's see what the scores are. Six and five and a half. So each dive needs to achieve a five at least from both judges in order to qualify for sectionals and states. You need to do 11 total dives in those events, but you have to have pre-qualified every dive throughout the season. Next is a 104C. It's a forward two somersault tuck. It's a feet first dive, so we want to see a lot of stand up. job there. A little lean in the front, but not bad. Six and a half and six. Next dive is going to be a 201B. That's a back dive in the pike position. We're up to dive seven now, so we've completed the first six, which will count as her regular score for this meet.
little shallow in the entry. Scores seven, seven and a half. Next dive is a 51-32D. That's a full twisting one and a half. Twisters are uh, labeled with the letter D to show that it's a free dive. There's no direction, or no position, rather. This is a 2.2 degree of difficulty. Decent job, a little crimped on the entry, but we'll see how the judges see it. Five and a half bingo, Five and a half bingo. so that'll still qualify for sectionals and states. Next dive's a 403C, that's an inward one and a half in the tuck position. Also a 2.2 .2 degree of difficulty. Decent entry. Scores six and a half bingo. <laughs> Eve's tenth dive is a 30, uh, 302C reverse one somersault tuck. It's a 1.6, uh, yes, 1.6 degree of difficulty. job there, a little away from the board, but decent dive. Scores? Six bingo. Six bingo. <laughs> Eve's final dive is a 5122D. It's a front one somersault, one twist. It's a 1.9 degree of difficulty. bit over on that dive. But she did make it around. Let's see what the judges say. Five bingo. Five bingo. <laughs> so that'll conclude the diving portion. Uh, it looks like all those dives qualified for sectionals and states. So that's good. That is good. Um, and now we're going to have a little bit of uh, getting ready time for the swimmers. Um, it's nice to see you back from college. Hope everything is well with you guys. Thank you so yeah. much for doing this for oh. us. You're welcome. Thank you for doing the diving. Sure. It's exciting. Sure. Apologies. A little weird to have just yeah. just one of them now. Right? It's crazy. It's very strange. It's very yeah. strange. All right. I'm going to turn over the headphones to Deirdre. All right. You guys have well, a great thank you. rest of the meet. You too. Thank you. To those listening, welcome to the first meet of the Hillers Swim and Dive Swim season. We start off the season strong. 
against Ashland's biggest rival, I would say, in the TVL. I think so. Um, I think so. And in years past, this meet has been, um, you know, always a big deal, always a big uh, event. And I'm sure it will be no different today. Um, I think you're right. I don't know much about Ashland's team this year. I was going to try to sneak over there and get a copy of uh, oh, their lineup, ask. but um, just so we'd know who's swimming I can when. Get it. Let me see ask. if you can get it. I don't know. But, um, and I see that one of the refs um, is, or bumps is uh, Anne, the old Ashland coach. Um, yeah, so it's exciting to see that the Hillers have um, six freshmen this year, so that's really exciting. And there's one um, senior exchange student. So there's a lot of exciting, um, and I see a name I don't recall from last year as a sophomore. So um, yeah, must I, think, be. I think a couple, of, a lot of new faces. So we'll be talking a little bit about that throughout the meet and the season. So we're excited to be here at Milford mm -hmm. High School. And I think... The uh, meet should kick off momentarily with the medley relay. Um, like all the events, uh, girls will go first and then boys, which this is a relatively new thing in the TVL. The idea, the idea they call it double duel of a heat of girls and a heat of boys. Uh, for years, it was girls swim against the boys, relays could be mixed, events could be mixed. Um, but the idea of double duel, like making it a rule, I think started in 2021. I think so. I think right. so. so. Maybe 2020. I don't uh, know. 2020 was so strange. No, 2020 no. was regular. It was 2021 yeah, 20 that was strange, right? All right. Um, so let's see. Uh, Deirdre, who do we have? Um, well, let's see. We'll, we'll wait until they for line them. up. And the but Ashland lineup is being sent to me momentarily. Excellent. Excellent. Um, yeah, so the uh, first event is always the 200 medley relay, which is um, four swimmers each do a different stroke, two laps of a stroke. And it starts off with back, breaststroke, is next butterfly freestyle. Yes. Uh, beautiful. Yeah. I'm just looking here at the... Um, yeah, well, while we're... Um, well, we're waiting for the meet to officially start. I'll uh, give you a little information about um, senior Anna Bardelli, who's an exchange student from Italy. Mm. And um, the word on the street is that her high school, she's from Florence, Italy, and her high school at home looks like an art museum. There is so much artwork oh, and everything. Yes, so uh, she's excited to be part of the team. Um, so I, I don't know if we have anybody in Italy listening, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, all right, so in lane one, which is the lane closest to us closest to the viewers doing backstroke we have um excuse me if i mispronounce any names um i feel i think it's really cool the team has grown so much in the it's been it's my first season not here i graduated last year but i'm unfamiliar with a lot of people so my apologies um she goes by pad I oh by so. pad okay perfect so we have pad Malady doing backstroke miu uh, hi, I'm sorry. I'm gonna botch your last name, Miu. Um, and the got, got one. Okay, let's do the version. <laughs> In lane one, Maya uh, doing the breaststroke. Maya doing butterfly, and Anna doing freestyle. In lane three for Hopkinton, we have Maeve Hanscom starting oh. off with the back. Maggie McCarthy doing the breaststroke. Natalie Buffard doing the fly, and Olivia Scalora doing the free. And, oh, wait. My apologies. This is flipped. The lane I read was lane five. So that's the oh, furthest, or okay. er, yes. second furthest. And then lane one, the closest to us, is Anjali, Anya, Porvi, and Ava. Um, okay, yes. 
All right. I got, I'll t I will start recognizing everybody again. It just takes, like, a little bit. Yeah. For, for Ashland mm -hmm. in lane four, we have Rebecca, Molly, Mandy, Mandy and Chelsea. All right. So. Well, let's go girls. Yes. So lane one. Hi, how are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So in lane one um, of the four swimmers we have, all four of them are, oh no, I'm mixing this up. That's not true. All right, so Anjali is new. She's a freshman. Anna Burke is a freshman. Corvi is a sophomore. And then Ava is a sophomore, but um, new to the team this year. Yeah. Anna Burke will be the the final Burke swimmer of the dynasty yes, of, of Burks that has been on the team since like 2014. Yes, I there, think so. I think there has been consistently been, been a Burke been since, a Burke 2014. since 2014. So and Anna, Anna basically grew up swimming in this pool because yes. she started swimming for the Milford Stingrays mm -hmm. recreational team. Yeah, I think at like four or five or something. And then over in lane five, Pad is a freshman. Miu is a sophomore. She had a great first year last year. Maya, another sophomore who was strong. And then Anna. And then um, in lane three, Maeve is a junior. Maggie is a senior. Natalie is a junior. And Olivia is also a junior. So it'll be exciting to see how they, how everybody uh, kicks off this season. Mm -hmm. They did have um, last week a relay carnival here a couple of different schools and they did different relays i think it was a couple of schools mm -hmm. all right well let's hope that this meet gets started yeah what's the hold up i don't mm. know the hold up timers it's always timers <laughs> mm. i don't know if i should eat while we're i know because i feel like we're, i was just wondering about that <laughs> and put it away. Yeah. Later. During yeah. the break. During the break. All right, everybody. It looks like the timers are getting to the lane. So, so I mean, the 11 dives went quick. I was really impressed um, with yeah. how quick that went because it's hard to, to do, do that with no breaks. All right, so I'm going to do some timing. straight across everybody, everybody is it's nice let's see what happens after the turn the turn can yeah. make or break somebody ashlyn definitely pulled a little bit ahead yeah. but um who do we have there in but that's pad in lane five freshman and so uh sophomore mave hanscom they're both pushing her yep mave is catching up a little bit let's and see anjali in lane one is not to be forgotten she's still in the game she is the breaststroke is a super definitive section I think for sure. Maggie McCarthy is a phenomenal breaststroker. She um, really is. She looks good out there. She's yeah. got a nice smooth stroke. Um, yep. I'm not sure who the Me girl's name swimming for um, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, but she's got a beautiful stroke yeah. as well. She's able to really pull ahead here. Yeah. Miu is catching up to Maggie. Yes. And yes, she looks great. Anna and then, Burke looks phenomenal in her first high school race. Yes. Very it's exciting. Cool. And she's... Um, she might have even made up a little ground there. Yeah. All right. Let's and see how Natalie's in the water with the butterfly. butterfly. Yes. And now Maya as well. Yep. Two phenomenal let's see. butterflies. Porvi jumping in as well. So the Ashland really has about a half pool lead, but 
in, um, oh, it doesn't actually say. All right. Natalie looks good. I, yeah. I tell you, um, Maya. Maya is really coming on strong. She yeah. just uh, picked up a bit of yardage there. And, and now Liv Scalora jumps in the pool in yep. lane three. And uh, Anna Bardelli jumps in in lane five. She looks awesome. She looks Both really of good. them do. And now we have Ava Hasselbring in lane one. And Ashland will win the event, but it was not without a fight as Hopkinton will come in to three and four, the, um, which I forgot to stop the time, but uh, probably right. my guess is like 218, 220-ish. Right. And, and um, you know, we don't, I don't think the scoring is in the program this yes, year. Yes, that's what I was just looking for. Huh, but, um, all right, come on. Nice, Ava, nice finish there. The, um, Second, third, and fourth actually add up to more points than first, if I recall correctly. And that's where Hopkinton historically has had good depth, which has always helped them. Yeah. So. And now for those unfamiliar, we, the last swimmer in the water always gets a cool down. Um, I always took it as a float on my back as far as I could down the pool, but they're actually swimming down, so... Um, maybe that's a commentary change this year. <laughs> um, but now we jump in for the boys for Hawkington in lane three. We have Caleb Burke, a sophomore. Owen Picard, a freshman. Yes, a freshman. Davis Pishoff. Wait, is Caleb a sophomore or a junior? Caleb's, Caleb's a junior. Is a junior, so yeah. Caleb, sorry, Caleb Burke, junior. Owen Picard, freshman. Davis Pishoff, junior. Lucas Kaufman, junior. And then in lane five, we have Kevin Zhu, who's a sophomore, Connor Wilson, senior, Declan Hanscom, senior, and Jack Kelly, sophomore. So the Caleb Burke going off strong. He's a phenomenal backstroker, as is Kevin Zhu. He's yeah, fighting Kevin, a fight right there. He really is. Yeah. I Connor has a nice lead, but er, after the Caleb. turn. Oh my gosh, sorry. You guys, uh, to all our listeners, listeners out there, I'm off my game, but Caleb has about uh, half a, not mm. quite half a pool. A two-length, two-person two length Two-person length, length pool. Owen Pickard jumps in. If you're familiar with the history of the Hawking and Swim and Dive team, we have been in need of a strong boy, really strong boys breaststroker. Yes. Sean Haley swam it well, um, but we had big, he had big shoes to fill after Alex Matsukas. Yes. Um, yeah. The famed Alex Matsukas. So, um, Sean did a phenomenal job. He graduated last year, and now it looks like Owen is really yeah, stepping he, up to the plate as his first he, 50 of his high school career wraps. Yeah, he looks amazing. And Connor Wilson up there in lane five fighting a very strong fight. Yeah, he's doing great. And uh, David Pishoff. Davis Pishoff. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're off, Mom. I Davis am. Pishoff, butterfly extraordinaire. Yeah. He is... Killing it, as is Declan Hanscom, another awesome butterflyer who's really come into his own over the past few years. He really, really has. It's been uh, neat to watch him. Yeah. And, and Lucas Kaufman jumps in as the Hillers have about a half-length lead, maybe even almost, a, almost full a full length. full length. Yeah. And so we'll see what happens. Yeah. And Jack Kelly um, in lane five. Another one who really, another swimmer who really has shown yeah. some tremendous growth last season. Yeah, and he, Jack's only a sophomore Jack's this only year, a sophomore, so I yeah. think we can see a lot from him this year. Yes. All right. Well, those boys look great. So the Hillers um, go one, two, and uh, in lane two here for Ashland, their final swimmer just dove in, and then their uh, lane four is um, just finishing up. All right, so as Deirdre said, um, Hopkinson got one, two on that, and uh, Ashton is three, and they'll their second relay will finish fourth. Yep. All right, the next event is the girls' 200 freestyle. 
Um, in lane one, we have Anna Burke. In lane three, Natalie Buffard. And in lane five, we have Maeve Hanscom. Um, for those unfamiliar with the 200 free, um, I think it's one of the more difficult events because you kind of have to sprint the whole time. Mm -hmm. um, which and it's is eight laps. It's eight pool, laps. So that's um, hard to keep your stamina going yeah. for that. Um, but I, I grew to really like swimming far, so mm -hmm. I ended up enjoying it. But I do know a lot of people who consider it to be like the absolute worst. So. It will be cool to yeah. see how people it's handle tricky because it. like with the 500 you set a pace mm -hmm. but the 200 you really do try to sprint pretty much the whole time yeah obviously there's like you know a method to the madness yes. however all right so all right. for ashland in lane one or lane two we have senior Kira Joshi, lane four, senior Hannah Alves, and lane six, freshman Marcella Cote. Okay. So, interesting to see. The Ashland in lane four pushes off the turn first. However, it's still anybody's game. Absolutely. At this point, it definitely is. She's a little bit ahead, but I would say everybody else is, is fairly close. The, yes. um, see, coming off this wall. Yeah. We, um, so Anna. Natalie, so we have Natalie and Anna are, uh, actually, kind of everybody's, 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 Natalie, Anna, and Maeve are all, yeah, basically, oh. said, take the turn at about the same time, Anna with a little bit of a lead. Yeah. Um, so right now we have, uh, Ashlyn in, uh, first and second position, and yeah. then Anna is, uh, in third right now. Yeah. And um, Natalie is a six. close fourth with the Ashland girl in lane six, six. Yep. like right at the same with her. Uh, Anna did not have a great turn there. She lost yeah, a little bit where, where the, um, I think the swimmer in, the Ashland swimmer in lane six uh, had a nice turn. All right. Well, Natalie is starting to pick up her pace a little bit and uh, Miu looks good. No, she has May. Who are you talking about? Miu is not swimming. Maya? Maeve. Oh my gosh. You have I to need, consult the sheet. The I whole need the time. sheet the whole time. Deirdre has been holding the sheet. And I'm trying to operate off yeah, my memory. So Anna Burke is challenging the Ashland Swimmer in lane six for third. All right, come on, Anna. Strong turn. I think this is the final fifty. This is okay, the moment. This is yep. So come on. This come is on. where we'd say you gotta, you gotta kick. You gotta you really dig deep to and really kick. Because once this is over, you're done. Yep. So. So right now we have Ashland is in first, second, and third. But at Natalie is uh, picking it up a bit. And actually Maeve is kicking kicking strong. But right now it is possible that Anna can catch the. Uh, I think she can do it. I think she can do and it. And I She's think Natalie and Maeve can both make break for it. Maeve's cap fell off. Is falling yeah. Off. Oh, Maeve's cap. Oh, that's tough. That's, that's tough. a tough one. Let's see. All right. So, so we have Ashlyn in one, two, and three. And then we have Anna, Natalie, and then Maeve, who did lose her cap at a right about the flags. So. Yeah. All right. Well, that, I think that I didn't, you know, I wish they had the times up. But um, yeah. it's definitely. Um, Just consult the sheet. I'd be curious to see what their times were this meet versus, you know, if they swim it again later on. Because I think that all three of them had a nice, strong mm -hmm. uh, beginning of the season I think, swim. I think the 200 is one of those races that you have to swim it once and do it, like, not wrong, but swim it once to realize how you should really do it. Yeah. To really, like, get the most out of it. Um, yeah, I remember somebody explaining to me how they pace it, and it wasn't until I actually did it that I was like, oh, wait. Yeah. I didn't do that, and I should. Okay. So I think it's one of those ones that you walk away thinking, I could have done that so much better. And that's how you get stuck doing get, it yeah, several true, times. True. So. All right. So for the uh, boys, 200 free for Hopkinton. In lane three, we have Owen Picard. And in lane five, we have Kevin Zhu. I don't know if you have the Ashland swimmers. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, for Ashland, in lane two... We have a freshman named Yash in lane four, senior Sam, and in lane six, senior Matt. Okay. So. 
And they're off. So. And now, I, I, you know, you can see um, right away, I think that uh, at least Owen and, uh, well, the four of the five boys, but I think Owen and the uh, Ashland swimmer probably have been doing this event for yes. a while. They both came out so strong. And they're turning and it up. have very good turns. Yeah. Kevin Zhu is fighting the Ashland swimmer in lane six. And like we've said, it's eight laps. We're, you know, rounding out or they're approaching the turn at the end of lap three. So things can change. Anything can happen. Absolutely. I think Owen's Owen is really got a chance. Really can push it up approaching. As he's approaching the half, um, he just has to remember to kick. Yeah, he was kicking really yeah. strong his first it's, lap. Yeah. So it's you gotta you're right, you gotta mm -hmm. dig deep to keep kicking. Yeah. Oh I should have timed it's, this. Yeah. Uh Kevin Zhu coming out of the corner. The turn really good. I think he he's right on the toes. He really is. Let's see if he can have a good turn here. Yeah. Owen Pickard going in out of the one twenty five, a little bit slow. Or not slow, but He's losing a little steam, he's but he's able to push it back. He's right on the toes. He is. He is. And Kevin, I don't know. Let's see. Maybe Kevin can uh, let's see this last turn. I don't know. know. Come on. Last 50, the most important 50. Well, maybe not, but. Yeah. But it could be a make or breaker, certainly. Yeah. All right. So Kevin had a nice turn there. Yeah, Kevin he, is approaching. He, uh, He's yeah. got half a body length, yeah. maybe. So if he can dig deep, I, I think, think he can do it. I he's think right. he can do it. I think he's the guy's in his sights there. Yeah, and he's got a good turn. He yes. can come out of the turn. All right, come Owen on, dropped Kevin. a little. He's got about the guy's got a body length on him, and he'll beat him by about five yards. But that's okay. That's a phenomenal that was a showing. Great, great showing First by Owen went. Picard. And all right, come on, come Kevin. Kevin. He's come right on, on the Kevin. Flag with him. Come on, Kevin. And oh, wow. he'll just get out touched. Wow. But that was pretty that cool. That was pretty cool. He really put so much energy there in the end. Yeah. Wow. So that was a pretty good swim. Oh. Now that Ashland's the Ashland swimmer so stopped. One more 50. I think he didn't realize he had another 50. It's okay. There. Um, it is okay. It's just it always breaks my heart a little. Yeah. Same. But you know, part of, I think I said this boy was a freshman. Yeah. So part of it, you get to swim against some, I remember swimming against people who were way faster than me. It yeah. just drives you to be better, so. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I had to find a little bit uh, out about Owen. Um, clearly, he's been swimming a long time, so mm -hmm. we'll have to. Uh, Is that his mom? Okay, so she said he swam at Lifetime. What? He said he swam at Lifetime. At Lifetime? Or his lifetime. At, I think at lifetime the oh. team. Oh, I didn't realize it was team. the club team. All right, so the next event is the 200 IM, so 50 yards of butterfly. Oh my, this is going to be 50 yards of butterfly, 50 yards of backstroke, 50 yards of breaststroke, and 50 yards of freestyle. For Hawkington in lane one, we have senior Maggie McCarthy. In um, lane three, we have freshman um yes freshman pad uh malady and then in lane five we have sophomore sophomore maya wheel megason um for ashland in lane two we have freshman molly connors and in lane four we have senior abby pexy who's actually a good friend of mine um it's kind of funny it is but, funny yes um so for our um, Hawkington swimmers, um, this will be, uh, what was, I don't know what I was going to say. Um, this particular race can be a little difficult. Um, I know that some not, like, it can be a little difficult if you struggle on, at one stroke, but you excel at another. Mm -hmm. Um, so going into the turn, the two Ashland swimmers, Abby Pexy touches first in the, Ashton Swimmer in lane two falls after, but the Hopkinton swimmers are not that far behind. Maya is right up there. She's got an awesome butterfly. She really does. Yeah. She's fun to watch do it. Yes. I think she's actually catching the uh, Ashton, Ashton Swimmer. Yep, the Ashton Swimmer here. The, another thing about the IM is the turns. The turns are funky. You turn from your stomach to your back, and that's a little weird. Yes. But 
both Maggie and Pad just turned about about the same time into the backstroke. Um, Maya's still fighting Ashlyn Swimmer in lane two. Um, Abby Pexy comes out with about a half a pool length lead, though she is a backstroker, so that is to be considered. Okay. Um, and Pad turns a little bit ahead of Maggie. Both of them come off the wall about the same. All right, let's see if. Um, see if. Yeah, now I know breaststroke, the next stroke is one of Maggie's strong mm -hmm. suits. Um, and I know Maya's was butterfly, butterfly although she is a good breaststroker. Yes. I don't know if Pad's uh, strengths here, but she looks good, definitely. Yes. Yeah, so that's the thing about the IM is somebody can get really far ahead and then all of a sudden they, you know, can't swim breaststroke for the life of them or something. Right, so and then the flip side is you could be a little bit behind and if and you're a catch strong up. breaststroker, that can yeah. make a break. Yeah, yeah, Maggie's catching up to both Maya and Pad. Um, I think she might take the turn first, act or behind Maya, but ahead of Pad. The three of them are kind of evening out as the uh -huh. two Ashland swimmers turn into their freestyle. All right, so we have. Yeah, Maggie's see. Maggie's catching up to Maya. So the three of them are right there. So the freestyle, it's kind of anybody's game. I I would say it definitely is wide open for the Hopkinton swimmers. Yes. Um. Wow, and yeah. so uh, beautiful swim by Abby. Excellent Pexy. job, Abby. Yes. <laughs> beautiful swim by Abby Pexy. And in lane two. Ashland Swimmer will finish strong, but our Hopkinton Swimmers are taking the turn. And All this right, 25, so have, you can yeah. find it in yourself and get yourself Absolutely. a best time so or something. So we have uh, Maya came off the wall first. Yeah. And um, if she keeps digging deep, I think she'll be fine with third. Um, yep. So and Maggie, Maya finishes third. Maggie's Maggie going to finish fourth. fourth. And pad fifth. Pad fifth right behind her. Yes. Very nice swim. Nice swim. Very nice swim by uh, all the Hopkinton girls. Yes. So for the boys, um, for Hopkinton in lane three, we have Davis Pishoff, who I believe this um, possibly he, no, I don't know if he ended up qualifying for postseason in this event. I he definitely went in he backstroke. Went in, yeah. But I'm I not forgot. so I don't know. But this is an event I know that he is uh um you know ha really strong at. He's really good yes. at butterfly and backstroke and those, you know, can really and freestyle. And yeah. I mean he's yeah, good at I mean, all of them. So all he's a phenomenal he's a swimmer. As I'm sure is Andy Lee who's in lane five. He's a freshman. Um, uh, yes he is. So this will be his first high, uh, high school, school race. Yeah. So It'll be cool um, to see how he does. Absolutely. I, and I want to give a shout out cause, uh, to all the Pisha fans out there. The, yes. There's always uh, Pisha <laughs> fans uh, watching the HKM uh, broadcast. So mm -hmm. we'll give a little shout yes. out there. Yeah. All right. Wow. So the butterfly, I'm going to look to see who's the Ashland boy. They're all right there. They really are. They are neck and neck. Yeah. I say this every meet, but butterfly done well is just so beautiful to watch. Yeah. All right. They literally. Uh, touch the wall uh, at same the same time. time. Andy, not that far behind. Okay. So now Davis and the Ashton swimmer in lane four are literally neck and neck. So this is one of those ones where. Yeah, how, how your turn is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Andy Lee coming out. He's a, Andy's probably about a body length behind Davis, who is now about a Half a body, not even, behind the Ashland Swimmer in lane four. Yeah, so let's see how this turn goes here for yeah, them. Yeah, this is a divisive. Breaststroke is always divisive. So Davis has got a good breaststroke. He's, that was a good pullout. Yeah, he does have a good pullout. Let's see. 
But Andy's looking good over there. Yes. Andy's making up some ground with yes. the breaststroke. So he clearly has a strong breaststroke. As is Let's, Davis. Yeah, Davis now they're, they're back to neck and neck. Neck at the wall. Ashlyn did out touch him on that wall, but let's see on the turn here. Because yeah. Davis, I think, just pulled a little bit ahead with yeah. his pullout. And Very nice. Andy about a body length behind. Just got a really good distance off the turn. Yep. And All I right. think Davis is about like ahead ahead of Ashlyn Summer. So this is gonna come right. down. It's gonna to come the down to the 50 free. Come on, Davis. Come on, Davis. Strong Let's go. kick. And Andy, whatever Andy, he's got left yeah. in the tank, this is the moment. All right. And he's got and some. And he's I'm got sure. it. He's got some yeah. there. Davis right. pushes come about on, a, Davis. A, length, a, a body length in front. Off Excellent. the turn, really strong. Very strong. So let's just keep going there. And come on, Andy. Andy. All so right. Davis so Pishoff is going to finish about five yards ahead of the Ashland Center. Very, Zimmer, very strong swim who will by Davis about, Pishoff. Like, 10 yards ahead of freshman Andy Lee, who's in lane five, with a phenomenal debut. Excellent swim debut. by Andy Lee. Excellent debut in, his, uh, in the regular meet season, the regular yes. season here. And that Ashland Summer, I don't remember if you said he was a senior. Or oh, a, I did not. Um, but um, he was, uh, he had a he's nice a junior. Uh, junior. So, All right. yeah. So we'll see him again. Yes. All right, and their uh, swimmer in lane uh, two is finishing up. He's still going. Mm -hmm. And he will finish um, about half a pool left. So um, all nice right, swims nice all swim. around by the boys. Um, next we have the 50 free and uh, for this for the girls we'll actually have two heats yes so the, uh, only the first heat counts for points mm -hmm. um, the 50 gives, sorry you go I was gonna say they do two heats just to give people um, an opportunity to swim yeah and to get times yep and to and get times yeah. yes um, the 50 free for what I'm just reading. Oh, okay. I thought you were pointing. Sorry. Um, for Hopkinton in lane one, we have Porvi. In lane three, we have Olivia Scalora. And in lane five, we have Anna Bardelli. Um, that's for the first heat. Um, the 50 free, your, your start, your turn, how many breaths you take, all of those things are super make or break. Um, Absolutely. You can, um, one thing is off and it can really blow your race. Yeah. Uh, and one thing in sync can put you ahead where you didn't expect to be. Yeah. So it's it's I'm fun gonna, to watch. I'm going to try to do my best to time. Okay. Here, take this. So Olivia Scalora really dominated this event last year. So it'll be yes, interesting to see how well that continues. Anna Bardelli in lane five. She's... She's a looking great. Senior exchange student. Yes. She's looking phenomenal. So coming off the wall. All uh, four of them. All it's four of anybody's them. Anybody's game. Porvi in lane one is also doing really well. It's going right, to be really close. And the girls will clock in. Oh. I would say that was Ashlyn. By like a heartbeat. Yeah. So I would say Ashlyn, then Olivia, and then I think Anna, and then yeah. the girl in lane six. Olivia Scora will clock in at about a 21-6. 20, 28, 28 six. sorry. That's okay. You're getting like me there, dear. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, so, right, so, and um, the sectional cut is a 27-15. Oh, wow. That's so to be fast. that, yeah. What did you say? 28-6. 28-6, yeah. so. It's hard to drop a couple of seconds in this event. Yeah. All right. So for heat two, I'm showing that we should have Ava and oh, there she is. Ava in lane five and Shruti in lane uh, three for heat two. And then there are two Ashland uh, swimmers in this event, this yes. heat as well. I thought before when I saw the mats at the end that they were the touch pads or something. I was a little excited oh, when I saw that. And no. I'm like, no, it's just like. For the 500. Yeah. Um, 
All right. All right. So I believe nice. both. Oh no, Ava is a sophomore, and Shruti is a freshman. Yeah. So I think this is Ava's first year, though, yes, swimming with Hopkins in high school. Yes, this is Ava's first year swimming with Hopkins in high school. So all three of them are right there together, which is pretty cool. Um, Ava pushes off the wall, gets off a little bit earlier, and but Shruti's coming up close. She really is. She really is. So just another way to like have the meet atmosphere and get the time. I know I swam the 50 in the second heat a lot my freshman year. Yeah. Just a good way to, you know, cut off some time in a real life scenario. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think it's uh, that way you can have everybody gets an opportunity yes. to swim. Yeah. So and uh, this last Ashland swimmer, the a Ashland, I know um, like Hopkinton has um, like unified basketball I think stuff. Ashland a, has always uh, had like a unified. I think it's their connection with best buddies. Best buddies, yeah. So that's pretty cool. It is very cool. It's something since I've been coming to these meets in 2014. So it's great. Yeah. Um, this is a side note, but I just realized it's December 14th and they already have their new apparel. So I, I want to know who did that because that's pretty awesome. They're wearing new sweatshirts. Who's wearing new sweatshirts? The Hawkinson team. Oh. And they all have those long sleeves. The shirt, like, I don't Kristen was wearing and, um. Oh. Yeah. I I think Mrs. Weatherhead did it, but nice. they must have had it ready, done, to, ready go to go once Woo! the team was picked. Yeah. All right. Very well done by our swimmer in lane six. Very nice job. And now we head into the boys. Um, 50 free for um, Hopkinton. We have sophomore Krishiv Jagnathan, who is in lane one, who is also new to the team this year. Um, adding to the number of sophomores, which is always good. That is good. Um, we have junior Lucas Kaufman in lane three, and senior and senior captain Declan Hanscom in lane five. So. I know Lucas swam this event a lot last year. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how his time's put up to start the season. Yes, So I will, I'll time. Now I can't remember, did Lucas qualify last year for section? In relays. In relays, okay. And it states too. Okay. Last year we had All right, so another one where your dive and your turn makes it. Well, what? look at Luke. this. We just have uh, Lucas and the Ashlands. And they're right they there. They are right there. The but Come on, look Lucas, at a that. breath off right. the turn. He's pulling ahead, though, but he Declan is, is right ahead. there Declan, for number three. Absolutely. Look at that. And just they don't will, breathe. There you go. They Lucas will clock in Ashland at about a... Two and very nice. Declan Lucas will three, clock four. in at about a 24.96. Nice. Declan nice. right behind him, right behind the Ashland swimmer in lane four. Very good. And, and Christian Jagnathan finishes strong as well. He really did. Yeah. And now. Um, looks like we might have one swimmer for a second heat in um, from Ashland. Oh. Not sure, unless he's just getting ahead of himself for the break. Um, what did you say? Uh, Lucas's time is oh, at 24? 24, so 9.5. Okay, so, so a little more than a second away yeah. from the... Uh, yeah, so the uh, cutoff times for sectionals and states um, are always based on the slowest times from last year's meet of sectionals, or is that only how states works? Um, Definitely for states it works that well, way. Well, that's what they say, but if I remember correctly, these are the same boys 50 times from last year. Cut off. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I, don't um, know. I mean, that could just be the same. I don't remember what any of the girls said. Yeah. I just, yeah. those were whatever. Um, 
Oh yeah, right, so, we so we do, do have, have an Ashland summer. second heat swimmer. It's really um, interesting, the, the cheering culture. I just had quiet people for the start, which made me think of it. At, here at Milford High School, they discourage the cheering at the ends, I believe, if I remember correctly. The, that that was, came from the people who operate the pool. Yes. yes. So um, I know that I always liked, you know, when people would be at the end and you could yes, see them. Yes, and you and could stuff. see them. And um, so it is and just along, interesting. Along the side, too. When yes. You're, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, definitely it is interesting because some – like at Keith Tech, everybody used to pile up at the end there to cheer yeah. on their uh, teammates. Yeah. So. Yep. So now we head into the 10 minute break. Yes. So, um, um, so as we like to say, stretch, get mm -hmm. your snack. Um, yes. Historically, diving was is done now in the middle of the meet. The past couple of years, they've been starting the meet with the diving, but the MIAA still has the uh, rule of the. Um, Swimmers need to have a break, and they can mm -hmm. warm up again. You'll see yeah. some swimmers will choose to go in and warm up, and some some do not. Yeah. It's a, so. I always thought it was a good opportunity if I had just swam, you know, to kind of get my heart rate down. If I, I often would swim a lot more in the second half, so this was my chance to, like, rewarm my muscles, mm -hmm. um, get some water, everything. So, um, yeah, go in for the break. All right. All right. Okay. We're back. The 100 fly, girls 100 fly just started the first event after the break. In lane three for Hopkinton, we have Maya. She's our lone Hopkinton swimmer. And she is fighting the good fight. They're all right next to each other as they round out of the first turn. Yeah, they look good. All three of them look really good. So let's see. See if Maya can... Uh, pull this out here we have um they're a little staggered right now but it, it's anybody's game at this point all right coming out of the turn we have ashland swimmer in lane four is about a body yeah but and i would say maya and the swimmer in uh lane two are neck and neck the swimmer in lane two had a nice she got a little bit ahead after the turn so let's see how maya does here so Maya, right, can she catch her third on this of the turn, turn, but this last 25, I think she can do it. All right, let's see. It's very close. Let's see if she can uh, power through. I think the the swimmer in lane two is pulling a little bit further ahead mm -hmm. of Maya. So, but regardless of a, a very, small heat, a first, a third place. Is absolutely, awesome. it, it is third place, and that was a nice swim. That was really. She mm -hmm. looked good. Yeah, she really looked good. Her form. So. Now for the boys in lane three, we have Davis Pishoff, who I'm, Pishoff fans out there, you should correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm 95% sure this was an event Davis swam at in the postseason, swam, okay. or qualified for, for in the postseason. Post um, and then we have Lucas Kaufman in lane five. So two juniors against the two fellows from Ashland. All right, let's see. All right, and they're off. A really nice start by all four swimmers. And right now they're all neck and neck. Everybody's looking good. Some nice mm -hmm. form out there. Yes. Definitely Beautiful some butterfly. Big, strong, big, strong shoulders there. Davis right. and the swimmer in Ashland take the turn at about exactly the same time, but Lucas and the swimmer, Ashland swimmer in lane two, are all right there. Davis is... Uh, He's eking out a little bit ahead. Mm -hmm. He'll touch let's first. Let's see. He'll touch first, but let's see how they come out of the turn. All right. Again, Davis has a really nice uh, pullout from the turn. I don't know if you call it a pullout and fly, but... Um, Breakout. Breakout, okay. Or something. I don't know. Uh, let's stick with breakout. I like that, Deirdre. It's good. All right. So let's see. 
For right. our last lap, we have uh, Davis in first. The Ashland Swimmer in lane four is in second. Lucas is in third. And the Ashland Swimmer in lane two is not that far from Lucas. He is uh, there neck and neck, actually, now. So, so let's see. Come on, Lucas. Davis wins. I would say Davis wins, followed by the Ashland Swimmer in lane four. And I think... I think, think it might have been Ashton. I think the Ashton. Yeah, I think he outtouched Lucas. Yeah, it was very close. Very close. A good a swimmers, good, good <laughs> swim by all four swimmers. Absolutely. Next event, we have the girls 100 free. In lane one, we have Anjali. In lane three, we have Maeve. And in lane five, we have Anna. All Anna right. Burke. There are several Annas. Yes, there are. Um, well, that sure was a fun race to watch yes. because uh, it changed, you know, with the Ashland swimmer was in the lead at first, then mm -hmm. Davis, and then unfortunately the for Hopkinton, the uh, Ashland swimmer pulled out on that last lap to get ahead of Lucas, mm -hmm. but it was a good run. Yes. So 100 free is another one of our oh, sprint here. Take this. Okay. Another one of our sprint events. Um you know, four laps of fast swimming. Mm -hmm. So we start off with the girls. All right, and, and they're off. Let's see. Right now, everybody looks uh, all about the same. About Ashlyn the same. Swimmer in lane four going out a little bit faster than the others. But Anna Burke and Maeve Hanson will turn at about the same time with Anjali and the Ashland Summer in lane six, not that far behind. Absolutely. So let's see what happens for the uh, the next 50. Yeah, and Maeve and Anna Burke, at, I think, are going to turn at the exact same. Yep. And followed closely by Ashland Summer in six and Anjali in one. All right. So let's see what happens here. Right now it looks like... Uh, Maeve is maybe pulling a little bit ahead of Anna Burke, and the Ashland swimmer over in lane six is uh, gaining ground. So let's see after this Anna turn. Anna takes the turn first, so. She does, all right. It's a uh, her and Maeve battle for second and third, which is a phenomenal battle to have. I think Absolutely. it's fun it's to fun swim to against your teammate. It is, it is. And, and it now. works out for Hawkington if mm -hmm. they get both two and they, three, so. Which they certainly will. And it looks like Anna Burke will get second and then Maeve Hanscom third. And Anjali Ashlyn. will, Ashlyn will take fourth and Anjali will take five. Yeah. Those points are just as important. Absolutely. So. Uh, one through five scores mm -hmm. and um, so many meets. Mm -hmm. Those uh, fourth and fifth places add up. Yes. So. Yeah. For sure. All right. So that was a great race. And now um, our boys. And that will. Oh, you have the boys sheet. Right? Yes. Yeah. So um, for boys in lane three, we have freshmen. Um, what? Hmm, go ahead. Um, we have freshman Owen Picard and. In lane five, we have senior Connor Willardson. Um, Ashland puts three boys in this event. Um, I wish they would announce the score. I mean, I kind of feel like we have a general idea of what it is, but I always like to know the number. Um, after this, oh, I'll get to that in a second. And they're off. All right, and here we have uh, Owen, Owen Picard, Picard is off for a nice strong start. A little bit of an early lead, but Ashland Swimmer in lane four chasing him, and Connor Willison and Ashland Swimmer in six are right neck and neck at the turn. Absolutely. So look at that. So we have, uh, yeah, Connor is really, he is fighting a fight, but the, the swimmer over in lane six is, this is all very, uh, it's like, Twosomes there. Yes. Um, all right. Owen Picard so Owen Picard is pulling out. He Half looks great. The body length, as does Connor Willardson down yeah. there in, in uh, five. 
And let's see after this turn. Owen will push ahead at the halfway. He'll finish without about a body length. And Connor Willitson is going to keep pushing. That swimmer All right, in six let's go. That, he, that swimmer in six is not giving up. Come that on, Connor. Dig deep. Come on, Connor. Is Come on, Connor. Shouting in the ear. Yeah, Ashley, are. our camera woman, is probably like, oh, my God. Um, um, a strong swim. Strong swim there. A really uh, strong swim by. A strong swim by both. Well, by both everybody. Both boys. But I, I liked the little two challenges that was occurring. Yeah, that was pretty neat. And the. Uh, um, the swimmer in lane six, he put up a great fight there at yes. the end. I always admire that. So All right. now is time for a, a divisive event. Device. 500 freestyle. And why would you um, call it divisive? Why would I call it divisive? Well, I think I'm biased, but it is one that is very long. Yes, um, well, there's no denying that. It's 20 lengths of the pool, for those of you not familiar with the 500. And I think it's one that you either love or you hate. There's no middle ground. Mm -hmm. I personally think that it's fun to do <laughs> because <laughs> as much as it stinks because it's so long, it's fun because you have so many opportunities to make up time. And it's kind of... You know, it can start off somebody. Obviously, sometimes people go and all of a sudden they're like a half lap, a lap ahead of you the whole time. Mm -hmm. But it all kind of, I think, really depends on how you pace it. So it can be kind of a fun, a fun watch. Absolutely. Um, not always fun to experience, yeah. however, which is, I think, why a lot of people dislike it. It's, I always say, it's like skiing a black mountain. Mm -hmm. You get to the top and you're like, how am I going to handle this? And then once it's done, you're like, Oh, that's actually doable. Yeah. But I'm also very excellent, biased. Excellent so. analogy. Excellent so analogy. So for Hopkinton, in lane three, we have Olivia Scalora. She's a junior. And in lane five, we have Anna Bardelli, a senior exchange student from Italy. Correct? Yes. Yeah. So She's from Florence. And the two um, Ashland swimmers start off well. I'm interested to see how Olivia does because she's a very good sprinter. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm sure she swam uh, the 500 and the 200 last year as well because uh, the coach, Coach Kristen Weber, um, definitely mixed people up. They weren't always in the same event. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm just curious to see how she does because sometimes people who are really good sprinters struggle with this. Although your sister went from being a sprinter to being a distance. Yeah. Being back to a sprinter. She kind of had a... Yeah. A, a path. Yeah. All right. So right so. now, uh, the Ashland swimmer in lane four has a sizable lead. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the other three swimmers, Anna in lane five, Olivia in lane three, and the Ashland swimmer in lane two are all pretty uh, about an equal, going about an equal pace right now in an equal spot in the pool. Yeah, as they, they're they heading towards the 125 mark, um, which... I think from five to like 13 is the worst part of the entire event. Mm. Maybe it starts a little later. Maybe it's more like seven to 15. Okay. But that middle part is always yeah. the worst. So yeah, Anna and Olivia are right now super um, evenly matched between each other and the Ashland swimmer in lane two. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. don't know, I think I mean, yeah, anything can happen. I'd anything say, can between happen. The three of them right now, um, for sure. I mean, if one of them were to drop back a lot right now, mm -hmm. it gets hard to uh, come back. Come back. Yeah. But if they stay like this, it depends on um, who's got a little gas in the tank. You know, what later. would be a good question for Anna is what events they swim in, in Italy. Italy. Excellent. Yes. And I'm sure that they do meters. Mm-hmm. So how does she feel about swimming in a yard, yard pool? Yard pool. What events? I'll ha you'll have to ask. You'll have to do some interviewing. Mom. Yeah, we'll do some interviewing um, fans, and we'll report back at the <laughs> next swim meet. I won't be at the next meet, but um, John will be broadcasting, and possibly Deirdre or or other alums. other alums. Uh, I think there'll be a bunch of guest alums next week, yes. as well as any um, any. Uh, parent of a swimmer who would like to uh, join us in the broadcasting booth. Yes. The perks are phenomenal. Yes. So Anna, uh, 
Olivia Scalora as she turns in. Um, oh gosh, I think they're turning at the 250. Yeah, they're turning. Or she was a little far from her wall there. Yeah. That, so um, that, they're the halfway point. That was just the halfway turn. So uh, Olivia is about, I'd say, two or three body lengths in front of Anna. Um, but she's just kind of holding off the Ashland swimmer in lane two um, as they flip at lap number 11. Um, for those unfamiliar, you might see the counters kind of shake the number. That's to get them to kick. Um, you know, some swimmers are more particular about how they, you know, what signs are used and when. Um, Olivia Sclora flips with about a half a body length lead ahead of the Ashland swimmer, I'd say. And... Yeah, she's hopefully she can uh, muster up a little more energy. Mm -hmm. Anna has, uh, Bardelli has dropped back. She's about half a pool length behind. But never doubt, there's still seven laps left. Absolutely, so. and it's she looks good. Her form yes. looks good. She's kicking. That's mm -hmm. a big thing. It is a big thing. It's uh, when... When you see suddenly a change in people's form yes. and stuff that you know they're uh, really getting a little tired. Yeah. All right. Come on, Olivia. Yeah, she's... She's uh, neck and neck here with the Ashland swimmer in lane two. So got about... I would say off the wall, they remain neck and neck. So um, let's see who can dig deep. They okay. have... Um, 125... Yards left for, for the Hopkins and swimmer for Olivia Sclora. The Ashland swimmer has about uh, she's rounding out her last, heading towards her last, last 50. 50. She looks phenomenal, by the she way. She does. She doesn't even look tired. Yeah. So that you'll see the official ringing the bell that lets her know she has 50 yards left to uh, swim. So Olivia Sclora continues to hold off. She's got about uh, the Ashland swimmer in lane two. She's got about a lap uh, length lead on Anna. Um, yeah. Oh, but the Ashland swimmer at that turn. This is the time. This is, yes. I remember Coach Kristen Wells saying to me last year, if you are not sprinting the last 100, Deirdre, you are doing it incorrectly. Yes. So, so let's, It's yeah. hard, though, because when you're tired, sprinting looks different. So, but this That's is the true. moment. This is the moment. Whatever and you've got I would left. say on these last two turns of Olivia's, she was a little far from the wall when she turned, so she didn't get as much of a push-off as she yeah. had been earlier. Yeah. Earlier. So, so she's I gonna, hope she has a good turn here. She's that could turn make her break. The 50 right neck and neck. I think the Ashland turn will hit the wall See how first. She's, yeah. yeah. So. So and Anna Bardelli takes a nice turn down there in lane five. Yeah, she got she 75 yards left. Come on, Olivia. Come on, Olivia. Dig deep. Come on, Olivia. Come on, Olivia. So Lucas is shaking that. That was a much better turn, a better turn for turn. Olivia. She's got it. Gosh, she she's can got do it. it. Come on, Olivia. You can do this. Come on, Olivia. It is exciting, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if yeah, we can. Yeah, she's got she's it. Got, she can uh, do she's it. She's digging deep. That's where it should she's be. She's digging deep. Let's see how. Whoa. Oh. oh, wow. Great race by Olivia, Olivia, though. Great race by Olivia Scalora. And Anna Bardelli is heading into her 19th. Her, her 19th her 20th uh, lap. Yes. So, and unfortunately, um, it don't. It's fine. Yeah, she looks really still great, and um, she will finish strong. Get a nice. And she will, and she'll get time on the board. She'll get time on the board. And she's going to get fourth place, so she's scoring points for the team. So, and honestly, it's great. I think she's finishing out really strong, mm -hmm. and I love to see that. Yes, it's great. And you know, part. I hope that she. Um, I always found, I found the first time I did the 500, well, granted, I don't know if this is her first time, I, like we said, right, we what events in Italy, but I remember getting out of the pool and being like, somebody in the pool, that girl who won did it so much better than me, and I could do it just as well. <laughs> so, so there you go. Um, yeah. And you know, the 500 there's is... there's the floating on the back you referenced yes, before. Yeah. Yes. All right, and now... Um, now we have the boys. We'll the be, boys um, for Hopkington in lane three. We have sophomore Kevin Zhu. In lane five, we have senior Declan Hanscom. Both of these boys are not unfamiliar with this event. They both swam it. I know 
several times last year, um, which was obviously Kevin's freshman year. Right. And I believe Declan swam it in years prior to that as well. So both of them are familiar with how this race is run. So it will be fun to see yes. the two of them do it again. Um. Yeah, it will be fun to see them do it again. Sorry. Um, I'm not sure what the holdup here is. Looks like. Just getting. Just get getting up, all the their times, times in. They're probably just re like doing a partway calculation of the score or something. They're comparing. The two officials and the scoring table are comparing something. Where's the. Um, oh, here we go. That's right there, yeah. Yeah, so um, as I mentioned earlier, there are six freshmen this year, so that's great. That'll help build uh, the team. We only have four seniors. Um, captains Declan Hanscom and Connor Waldeson, and then... Nothing. I Declan Hanscom and Connor Willardson. Willardson, oh my gosh. And then we have... Uh, Maggie McCarthy and Anna Bardelli. So, and then we have six juniors. And we have eight sophomores and then six freshmen. So that's, that's good. Yeah. Um, it's a, you know, it's a small team. It's definitely, um, I think, growing. Mm -hmm. um, all teams go in cycles. Yes. Uh, so... Uh, and I think Coach Kristen's done a good job at the team. This is her third year as head coach? I think her fourth. Her fourth, okay. No, wait. When? This is her fourth year. Oh, her, okay. So. All right, so you only, I didn't realize you only had Jeff one year. But he was assistant coach the second year. Okay, so. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, so it takes a little bit sometimes for a new coach to uh, make their mark. And, and obviously then, the COVID, the two, this yeah. season affected by COVID, and then we also had a season where we could only have, like, limited capacity because of how the pool situation was. Yes. So, um, yeah, so. And they're off well, in the water, everybody. Uh, a good start by all four swimmers. Uh, right now yeah. we have um, the Ashland swimmer in lane four will take the turn first, but he is followed closely by Kevin and Declan. So and the uh, Ashland swimmer in lane two is yeah. not that far behind. So we'll see how this how this plays out. Yeah, you know, and I think back to uh, the COVID uh, year too. It impacted two seasons. It also impacted the rec teams, which yes. helped feed the high school mm -hmm. programs and also the club teams. Yeah. So it was definitely, um, like many yeah. things, uh, you know, it was impacted. And so we'll see how the, hopefully the build up in swimming uh, comes back. And a big thing I think this season that affects thing, things um, is, uh, for those of you unfamiliar, this pool is not the pool that Hawkington is practicing in. This is right. only the pool they use for meets. Um, at the 100, sorry to go back to the swimming, Kevin and Declan take the turn at the exact same time. They're neck and neck. That's a nice little battle occurring right there as they Absolutely. head down lap five. But what I was saying is that not only is this is Milford, the pool we're at now, not the pool where they have practices, but it's also they have two practice pools. Um, they practice at in two different locations. Um, which I think just impacts, you know, Absolutely. you're not always used to the pool, you're not used to the blocks. I know several swimmers on Hawkington, you know, went up through the Milford Stingrays, so they are more familiar, but others, this could be their first time, first time. here. Absolutely. So, yeah. out of the turn, Kevin Zhu has about a, a body length on Declan um, as they take their seventh turn, as they round out this 200. Um, and uh, the um, Ashland swimmer in lane two is a couple of body lanes behind Declan. So at this point, I would say all four swimmers are fairly, fairly spread out. Yeah. So it's 
see. Nice turn, Declan. Very nice. Yes. Kevin Zhu pushing ahead. Yeah. Like I said before, good. both of these Hopkinton swimmers are really familiar with this event. So it's fun to see how they tackle it for the first time this season. Yeah. Now, do you know, do either of them swim club? Do many swimmers on the Hopkinton team, do you know, swim club these days? I believe Kevin has or does. I don't think Declan does. Okay. All right there. And um, nice turns mm -hmm. by both Kevin and then Declan. And now the uh, the swimmer here in lane two from Ashland has uh, got some um, pulling out some energy stores there. He's closing in on, on, Declan. on Declan over there. Um, and I see Coach Kristen giving the symbol to kick harder to Declan. So... Yeah. He had a strong turn, Declan, and puts him ahead again, but yes. let's see. And I see the Ashland coach making a motion, pointing at Declan. Toward yes, the to show his swimmer where, mm -hmm. where his competition is. Because it does get tricky, particularly uh, this swimmer in lane two is breathing on both sides, or um, maybe he just was occasionally breathing that way to see the coach. No, he's breathing on both sides, which is great, because sometimes you can lose track of your opponent oh, when yeah. you only breathe to one side. So let's see, Declan looks like he might be fading a bit. The swimmer here in lane two is definitely uh, catching up. Coming up, up as they take, they've got about um, Kevin's turning at the 400 and Declan will be approaching there in about half a pool. And this is the last 100. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. That was at the 350. Yeah, I was going to say. Sorry, my math, guys. I don't have to do math I think anymore. we're both a little rusty these days. Yeah. All right, so here we go. We have the, well, the swimmer from Ashland in lane four is uh, 50 yards ahead of everybody else in the pool right now. Declan and the swimmer in lane two. This is a, this could be divisive right here this turn. Davis Pishoff is shaking that yes, counter trying the, to get him. Yes, he is. To and go. So is the Ashland uh, counter. So let's and see. And now Kevin Zhu is headed in for, now I'm correct, his last 100. Which, like I, s oh, I, that that's a different bell. I was very confused. Yeah, I'm like, um, what happened to the ringing bell? Yeah, that was a different noise. But okay. Kevin Zhu has a nice turn with 75 yards left. Declan has just been edged out just a little bit. Yeah, but he could last still. Last hundred, he, he could can still do it. If he can dig deep, he might be able to catch up. Yeah, he's got a really kick. He's got some cheering on that side. I think that will help. Absolutely. Kevin Zhu, big strong turn on his last 50. Very nice. And he is going to finish nice and strong. And the Ashland swimmer in lane four just finished. She had a yeah. great swim. Really nice. Yeah. All right. And uh, Kevin Zhu coming for his last turn. Looked yeah. pretty good. Maybe a little deep there, but he's going to finish nice and strong. And he's kicking hard to finish well. Declan rounding out his last 50. The swimmer in lane two is still cruising along about a body length ahead, but Declan, he can get there. Yep. But Declan, he's kicking. I don't think he's going to leave anything uh, in his tank when he finishes, which is yeah. good. So... I think those are some four beautiful swims. Another example yeah, nice. of, you know, people getting close and pulling ahead Good, and absolutely. how things can change in 20 laps despite, yep. you know, yeah. what you may think. Exactly. Exactly. And you know, things start one way and then. Yeah. And now we'll have the 200 free relay after the boys warm down. And so that'll be um, everybody does uh, two laps, 50 yards. Yeah. For Hopkinton in lane three, we have Natalie Buffard, uh, Maya Wheel Megason, uh, Anna Burke, and Maggie McCarthy. Um, in, well, they just disappeared now, but in lane five, we have Sruthi, Ava, Anjali, and Miu. Oh, yeah, now there they are, headed over to lane five. And we have two. Um, Ashland relays. Two Ashland relays. Hmm. 
I guess Hopkinton has not gotten their suits yet. They have gotten their apparel, but not the suits. So, yes, apparently the apparel just came in today. It's in oh. that box over there, so only some people have it ah. so far. Um, but I guess the suits are probably coming. I like those Ashland um, suits. Yeah, I like the Ashland suits. I think they're Joe Lens. Fun thing about the free relay, um, or I love the th about relays, is relay starts, and so starts, and your teammates' finishers can really make or break a race. Natalie Buffard is right up against the Ashland swimmer in lane two, um, lane four. I, I know that that's Abby Pexy. That's Abby Pexy. Yeah, She's they're pulling great. ahead. Yeah. Um, She's a phenomenal but swimmer. Do you know, is she swimming in college, Deirdre? Do you know? Is I she? do not know. I, I know have just that asked her mom. I know that she's still figuring that out. Okay. So, um, but Hopkinton has got a nice, sizable two-body length lead on um, the Ashland Relay in lane two. And the Hopkinton Relay in lane five has got a good showing, I think. Everybody in that relay, oh no, three out of the four swimmers in the Ashton Relay in lane five, This or Hopkington, sorry, relay in lane five, this is their first um, high school swim meet ever, so. That's great. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. We have Anna Burke diving in, that was a good start. Very nice. Yeah, and particularly in the two, I mean in all relays, the starts and turns can make or break you, but most especially in this one where it's only two laps if you mess up on your turn uh, i mean on your dive uh, if you're a little slow off the block it can be tough yeah all right well there was a nice start down over in lane five there yes. that was uh who just went that was the anjali water? just jumped in very nice and about to jump in in lane three for hopkinton is maggie mccarthy in the pool in lane five is anjali and about to close out or anchor uh relay in lane five is miyu um, Ashland's relay in lane two will jump in. So Hopkinton has a pretty sizable uh, third, or second and third, second and fourth placing. All right, very nice. I think, yeah. So. All right. Very nice swim by the uh, Hopkinton relay team in lane four. And they did, they finished second. Yes. And uh, I want to give a shout out, by the way, to uh, Jeff Buffard, who's always one of our at home fans. <laughs> His uh, daughter, Natalie, was just in that relay. Yes, and she, did um, she is a phenomenal lifting. swimmer. She's a captain as a junior. Mm -hmm. a All right. Stroke, buddy. Um, yes. And Miu finishes nice and strong in lane five. And now we head to the boys. Um, Hopkinton puts up only one relay of boys. I think this is maybe the second or third year where we don't have that many boys. We have really some really strong boys, boys but we yes. don't have the ton depth. of numbers. Yeah, and we it would really be great to grow that. I mean, this mm -hmm. year with the freshmen, it's four girls and two boys. Yeah. So it would be and nice that's how it to was get. Last year, yeah, maybe. because that's as we were saying earlier. When you have the depth, you can get those points for fifth and fourth and that adds up yeah all right so who do we have uh, we have leading off uh andy lee okay. second is caleb burke third jack kelly and fourth connor willitson okay what oh. i believe um, can you hand me the program? Yes. Thank you. All right. So this is kind of fun. This relay, we have one boy from each grade. Kind of cool. Yeah, that is very cool. You don't see that too often. <laughs> so Ashland has two relays, but... This is going to be a fight, for sure. This is sure. going to be a fight. All right, let's see. Let's see how Andy does here. It's a nice uh, 50. He's got some teammates got cheering some, him on yes, down there. Yes, he does, which is great to see. The Ashland swimmer in lane uh, four has about a body length lead, but Andy is just ahead of the swimmer in lane two. And Caleb Burke takes, dives in. 
Very nice. All right, so let's see how he does to, can he make oh. up some ground here? Very yeah. nice. Excellent. He's that fighting. was an unbelievable dive by Caleb. He went about halfway across the pool. And, and let's an see. another nice, really nice start. First breath, he just took his first breath on this half. Yeah, which um, is pretty amazing. So the Ashland relay will start in as Jack Kelly dives in. All and right, come on, Jack. Fight. That's like he's a fast swimmer. Yeah, he yeah. is. He is. So let's see how uh, how he does. If he can hold his own here. Yeah, then he's got Connor, Connor Wilson closing out the edge. Ashland has probably about two. Maybe body three body lengths. lengths. Three body lengths, I would say, is their anchor jumps in. Yep. So their anchor is about halfway across the pool as Connor jumps, dives in. So let's see how what Connor can do here. All right. It's a bit of a distance to make up in this. Um, I think, unfortunately, the 200 free might be a little too short. However, yes, we are safely in second, bringing home some points. And I would assume some pretty fast times. I, I think, think so. I think everybody looked like they were. I would love to see some of the splits. <coughs> Sorry. No, that's right. Next meet, I'll have to get a connection at the uh, timing table so yes. they can text up times. Yeah. Although there was always a delay, but still. All right. Well, I would say the Hopkinton boys had a really strong, and I agree. I think there were some fast times in that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ashlyn is just finishing up here, their second relay. Very nice swim. Yep. And now we head into the we're three events till the end. Can you believe it, Mom? No, I cannot. It's going pretty quickly. That's what I told um, Ashley, the camera woman. After the 500, it's pretty fast. Yeah, fast and furious. Usually, yeah. Um, so this is the 100 back in lane three. We have a freshman pad. And in lane five, we have sophomore Porvi. Um, okay. And then Ashlyn puts up two swimmers. Very nice. So... Um, geez. Let me look at the. All right, and they're off. So let's see. Backstroke, I think. I'm not the a backstroker. Right, yeah. Oh, that's, that's Abby. That's Abby and Lane, yes. too? Yeah. Well, did you see that? She didn't even start swimming until the halfway mark. I like think, Like, just her yeah. start was that much, uh, you know, the under the water yeah. and the distance. Corby and Pad turn at about the same time. Follow, they are, right now it's a bit staggered. Um, both Ashland swimmers have a bit of a lead, but there's still 50 left. I think backstroke, I'm not, I was never a backstroker. I was yeah. bad at it. But I think the turns and your walls are super super important they really are i did backstroke in high school for uh two years and it is it mm -hmm. can um really make a difference yeah um i think you know really trying to get beyond the flags off that turn is important yes pat is going to turn with about i don't know two body lengths behind yeah. the ashland summer in third and poor is about three body lengths behind her right. um yeah so I mean, but their form, both uh, Porvi and Pad's form, looked mm -hmm. pretty good. Uh, looks good because they're yeah. still swimming. And I think... Um, good opportunity to get some times. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, I think it's nice when you start the season, you know, strong. Like, mm -hmm. we don't know people's personal best going into this. But um, I feel like we've seen a bunch of strong swims. Yes. So... Um, you know, and then it's, that's your benchmark for the rest of the season, which is great. Yes. Yeah, it's. All right. And so for so the now boys, we boys have it's Andy in lane five. And right? Caleb Burke Caleb in lane three. Yeah. Look at you go. Tell me. Figuring it out. That's only because Andy's got a red stripe on his suit. Yeah. Well, um, Caleb Burke is a phenomenal backstroker. I remember from last year and all the Stingrays years. Yes, yes. Um, I don't recall. I know there was a, a drive for the postseason last year, but I'd have to look it up to see if he made it or not. I don't Ooh. recall. 
I don't recall. It was close. It was very close, and I, I should recall that. Uh, let me look. Okay. Um. On a different note, I have to start baking cookies for my cookie swap I'm going to. That's why I won't be at next week's meet. Um, Not really sure what it's the a timing is. issue. It always is. No offense to the timers. That's why I would never time. I used to get stressed. Oh, she must have had a problem with her stopwatch, and they put oh. the backup in. All right, I'm All timing right. this one. Let's see. So All right, so out of the box, we have um, Kayla Burt right out there, and Andy Lee, and the other three Ashland swimmers not even, not that far behind. All right. It's a really good it wall by really both of those boys. Yes. So right now we have Caleb in first. Uh, that Ashland in lane four is second. Andy is third. Ashland in lane six is fourth. They're just on a nice little diagonal there. And then the Ashlands are in lane two. So let's see. Come on, Andy. Come on, Caleb. Come on, Caleb. It's a good, pretty good composition, right, good challenge. Definitely. He's going to turn it at the 45 seconds. All right. Hopefully and the, ooh, the swimmer in uh, lane four, the Ashland swimmer, had a good turn. Made up a little ground, but Caleb's pulled ahead again. And uh, let's see, Andy is looking good. He's going to, I think he'll finish. Oh, with a nice I want to see the official time on that. I clocked that in at a, a 1 0 7 5. All right. And if I'm correct, which I don't know if I am, that could be a sectional cut. Wow. But I'm also at an angle and at a distance. Yeah, it is and a definitely very hard. It's a, so. uh, it's a little hard from here. So let's see what his reaction is. When he sees the time. I wonder if he even knows the time. Yeah. Mm. An excellent swim by both Caleb and Andy. Absolutely. So. I think, well, I just saw the coaches, Kristen and the assistant coach, Lauren, just high five. So Yeah, they're looking at their clocks. They're yes. definitely very happy. So, so a good swim by both boys. Absolutely. And now we head to another awesome, in my opinion, events. The 100 breaststroke. All right. In lane yes. one, we have Miu. In lane three, we have Natalie. And in lane five, we have... Um, Maggie McCarthy. Yes. Yeah, so uh, this, besides the 500, this was your other event. Yes. So, um, Another divisive event, I yeah. think. I could never do breaststroke. Could never, ever do it. Yeah, it is one where people love it or hate it. There's really not a lot in betweens. Yeah. Well, I remember even when you were little and Karen Terry, who for years was an assistant coach here, and she was coach of the Westboro Raiders, but we were we'd go to her house for like a little lesson mm -hmm. or something, you know, and she was like, if you can do the breaststroke, you can win the IM because that. Uh, <laughs> Not when you drown on the backstroke. <laughs> I don't know. That was always my issue. Yeah. It wasn't even the butterfly. It was the, the backstroke. Back. So this event comes, it's the last individual event, which I think is sometimes where not only is breaststroke, you know, something you sometimes you're either really good at it or you're not that good. Um, mm. But it also comes at the end of potentially this is your fourth event or your third event or you, you've been swimming, yes, you know, yes. on deck for a while. So I know that that is also sometimes where people struggle mm -hmm. mustering up the energy. Um, perhaps if it was earlier in the program, things could be different. True. Very true. But I think it just shows them that people who can uh, channel that energy mm -hmm. and um, have that stamina yeah. do well in this event. So let's see. I think um, all three breaststrokers from uh, Hopkinton swam breaststroke last season and swam it yes. well. Yes. So um, 
be nice to see how they're doing at the start of this season. Yes, I know. I'm, I am going to take the time because yeah, I would like I to know it. how people do and how I would do. If I was in it. <laughs> Not well anymore, though. I don't swim anymore. <laughs> and they're off. So all right, the, well, I would say all three Hopkinson swimmers had a good start. The pullout is a really important one. The yep. Ashland swimmer in lane four coming out a little bit, but all three Hopkinson swimmers right there, Absolutely. as is the Ashland swimmer in lane two. Natalie Buffard followed closely by Maggie McCarthy on that turn. And uh, Miu is not yes. far behind yeah. them. She just had a nice turn there. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see if... Um, Everybody does. All yes. right, Maggie's pushing hard. She's trying to catch Natalie. Natalie's pushing hard, trying to catch the Ashland swimmer. And Miu's pushing hard, trying to catch Maggie. So it's, uh, you can see the power in the water. And honestly, even the girl in lane two here from Ashland. Yes, is, uh, a beautiful turn by Miu. Um, as they head down for their last 25 and a half-ish. Yeah, so let's see. Let's see how these walls go here. Yeah. Natalie's turning a at the very minute, nice, a really nice wall. It's turning at the minute mark. It was, yeah, it was about a little the minute. After. Very, very nice turn. And a really nice pullout, I think, by Natalie Buffard. I yes. think sometimes pullouts are where people suffer. And I mm -hmm. believe the Ashland swimmer just qualified for something, for no, sure. Let's see. Um, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, trying to see the faces in the timer over there. That's a 124-ish for... For Natalie. Natalie, and I would clock that about a 128, 130-ish for, for Maggie. For yeah. Maggie, and probably 34, 35 for Miu. So very nice. Three really strong swims yes. for uh, the Hopkinton breaststrokers. <coughs> All right, and let's see. Yep, and a nice swim by the by both Ashland swimmers. And Very nice. That closes out our girls' individual program, but alas, there's a round of the gentlemen. For we have in lane three, senior caller Connor Willitson, and in lane five, sophomore Jack Kelly. Both of these boys, Connor has swam this event all throughout his four years here. Okay. Um, and I believe Jack swam at a decent amount last year, so. Okay. That's Both great. Return swimmers. So we'll see, yeah. Ashlyn puts up three boys for this event, so. All right. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, it uh, be great if we can get one and two. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and then after this, the uh, I see the, the girls' 400 free relays lining up. Yep. You know what was always the worst? When you would have to swim breaststroke and then, and then the relay, relay which yeah. it doesn't look like any of our girls have to do, but I did that so many times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and they are off. So, so let's see. Connor Wilson. Very nice very pull nice out. Very nice pull out. Jack Kelly. He is right stroke. there in He's, the mix. Yes. Jack is right there in the mix. So at the moment, it is coming to the first turn. You have Connor is in first. Ashlyn Swimmer in four. End in six, six. are right there. Yep. Jack and Kelly in line with Ashlyn Swimmer in two. Yes. So let's see. Connor's yeah, everybody is pulling hard here. Yeah, so this is a see. really good. You can tell, like, everybody is really taking their strong strokes. Mm -hmm. Um a really Absolutely. nice pull out by Connor. Very nice pull out, and that gave him a bit of an edge there. Yeah. So Jack see. Kelly with a nice turn and a nice pull out. He's getting edged out a little bit by the Ashland Summer in lane two. Yeah. Connor Willison is pushing ahead. He's going to take that turn by about a body and a half. All right, let's see what happens here. There's a lot of cheering uh, at the end for the Ashland fella, but let's see. I think, I think he's Connor's got it. Got it. What a nice! I think Connor's got it. Very what nice. What a nice swim. swim for your first meet of your senior year. Absolutely. And Jack Kelly, he oh, he's got it. He can do it. Let's see. Phenomenal swim by Connor. Nice swim by. All right, let's see. Come on, Jack. Let's see if you can catch him. Keep going. I think Jack's 
getting a little tired. You see how his stroke has shortened yeah. a little bit? That's one of the uh, signs that. Yeah. But that's right. It's the Good. beginning of the season. Yes, a strong He's swim nonetheless. Absolutely. All, All right. right. Very nice. And again, so we uh, Hopkinton with a first and a fifth. So very nice. Nice. And now um, we head into the last event um, of yeah this of the meet. of the night of the meet. So we have. Um, the 400 uh, girls free relay. It looks like Hopkinton is putting up one relay and Ashland two. And um, the relay for Hopkinton starting off is Pad Maladai, uh, followed by Maeve Hanscom, Anna Bardelli, and the anchor is Olivia Scalora. So we shall see. And, you know, we said at the beginning of the meet, this is a double duel. So the girls will be scored individually from the boys. Mm -hmm. So um, at the end, they'll announce the score of both the, uh, the girls meet and the boys meet. All right, let's see. All right. So we yeah, have nice, our nice start there by Pad. She's uh, right there yes. with the Ashton swimmers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought for a minute when uh, Anne, the official, got up to speak, she was going to give the score up before this. Sometimes they do Sometimes that, and it's kind of fun. But she did not, so we'll just have to wait. But Pad looks really good, nice and strong. Mm -hmm. She's... Uh, the Ashland swimmer in lane four is in first. Pad currently is in second. Let's see how she comes uh, off this turn. Ashland swimmer caught a little bit on the turn. She did, but uh, so Pad's maybe head and shoulders, not even. I think they're right about the same. The uh, Ashland swimmer in four has pushed ahead. I think um, those are yes. probably their girls they're trying to send to postseason. Probably. Um, and the turn, they turn. Wow, Pad and That's Ashland swimmer nice. two at the same time. So, so let's say we at got the dive, it could be anybody's race. Diving in, we have Maeve, yep. sophomore Maeve Hanscom. She's, if I remember correctly, got a good start. And I know she's a good swimmer. So let's she see. gets in the water first. Well, let's see how her start is. All right. She comes up a little bit behind the Ashen swimmer in lane two. Oh, but, but she's, she's got, got, it. got a nice kick there. So yeah. let's see. Come on, Maeve. Nice kick. All right, she takes the, takes the turn. Absolutely. By hair. But yeah, she, oh yeah, yeah, that was a phenomenal turn. That was a phenomenal turn. So let's see. She's uh, got that power kick going. That, mm -hmm. everybody always thinks it's the arms, but as you know, that kick, that's your, that's your power there. All right, nice turn there. Nice turn there. And um, Maeve has got about a body, half a body. Yeah, I think she's. I think it's just about a body. Yeah. It's somebody's body. <laughs> well, she's yeah. tall, but um, let's see. All she's right, gonna... coming off that wall, I think she is now, um, you know, full body length yeah. ahead and uh, a little more actually, about so, which is good. About to dive in. So Maeve Hanscom is finishing out and so about to dive in yeah. is Anna Bardelli. Um, and she will head in the pool. That was a beautiful start. That was a beautiful start. Um, nice far out into the pool. Yeah, look, um, and she hasn't taken a breath yet. There you go. As Ash, soon as I said that, very nice. Two, three. She's building their lead, or their position in second. Um, she really is. She is very strong. Very nice swimming. All right, so we have... Uh, She's got about almost the full length lead. 
Yes, and she's actually making a little uh, a little headway. A little headway on the where Ashton was a full lap ahead. They are no longer a full lap ahead of Hopkinton. They're it's closer to about a half a lap. And then diving in the anchor position for Hopkinton is Olivia Scalora. So yeah. let's see what Olivia can do with this. I mean, certainly she'll keep the position. Very nice dive, nice strong start here. Strong kicks and arms. She's looking great. All right. So let's see. And then in lane two for Ashlyn, their uh, anchor, their fourth swimmer, just dove in the water. And Olivia so. Scalora takes her. Second turn, she's got about a 50 left. The mm -hmm. swimmer in lane four for Ashland will finish out about a lap, a length ahead. Yeah, it's a little but bit I longer than a length, length ahead, yep. And then, uh, all right, well, Olivia looks great. She's yeah. really, I'd really love to see the time and the splits on this. Who, do you know who the anchor was over in Ashland? That's Abby. Is that Abby? Yes. That's what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah. And that was a phenomenal swim by all four Hopkinton swimmers. It really, really was. That was a fun one to watch. Yes. They really looked great out there. Yes. And Ashland has got about 50 yards left. Yes. All right, let's see. We've got... Um, She's got about 25 yards left yeah. as we're nearing the two-hour mark of this meet. We've yeah. got about one more event to go. Well, I think we might, we might wrap up under two hours. We have five, five to nine? Yeah. All right, I admire this swimmer's perseverance. There's been a couple of swimmers yes. out there that I really admire that. I think it's great. You know, you perseverance is a life trait, and you get to be part of a team and have some fun. So I, good for them. Yes. Back to the bathing suit. You think that's a JoLynn? But doesn't uh, JoLynn tie? I don't no, see they don't, a tie. I have straight back. They sell straight back ones. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it is. It's really a nice suit. I, actually, I don't. I thought I saw the little logo, but I don't think I do. Yeah, they are Jolins. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sheesh. Nice. That is nice. really nice. All right. So, Deirdre, who do we have up? We have, we're putting up two relays in so Hopkinton for the boys 400 fray. In lane three, leading off, we have Lucas Kaufman, followed by Kevin Zhu, Owen Picard, and Davis Pishoff. In lane five, Andy Lee, Caleb Burke, Jack Kelly, and Declan Hanscom. Wow. So, um, it'll be a fun race. This meet last year, actually, the, for the boys, this event came down to, not only did it come down to the relay, but it solely, solely came, came down, down to, to Davis Pishaw. Yes. And he had swam, I think, the fastest 100 split I've ever seen, and then mm -hmm. he promptly sat down. It was funny. Um, it was very it was exciting. Very, it was super very exciting. exciting. That was later in the season, if I recall, no, right? It was, was the first it was, I don't think it was the first, but it was maybe the second. All right, it well. It was about this time. They're off to a great start. Lucas, Lucas Kaufman, Kaufman first is at the turn. Absolutely. And um, Andy Lee over in lane yeah. uh, five had a nice nice turn there. Yeah. He is not far behind. No, but the Ashland Summer in two challenging. Yes. So let's see. They're neck and neck. Lucas, All three are neck and neck after that turn with uh, Andy about a body length or two behind them. Lucas, if you listen to this, bro, stop breathing off your turns. That yeah. can make a difference. It really can. You, yeah. Lucas. Yep. Uh, it's so, okay. There you go. But, but that's definitely um, makes a big difference. Come on, yes. Lucas. So they are all going to touch the Ashland in four. We'll touch first, followed by Hopkinton, followed by Ashland in two, with Ash with Hopkinton up in five, not that far behind. Um, at this point, Kevin Zoo is in the pool for Hopkinton. Um, it's kind of anybody's race. 
Absolutely. Caleb Burke is uh, making up a little yeah. ground there, but the Ashland swimmer in lane two has pulled ahead of Kevin Zhu. Yep. So right now we have Ashland in lane four, followed by Ashland in lane two, then Hopkinton lane three, and Hopkinton lane five. All right, come on, Kevin. Let's see what we can do here. And uh, Caleb Burke over in lane five looks good. All right, come on, Kevin. Let's see, good turn here. And Kevin also just breathed off of his turn. So definitely, uh, so it's tough at the end of the meet, too. Yeah. You know, I think you it see is, that more hard. often in this event yes, than you do. Yes, for sure. Um, all and right, so we have. Owen Pickard, Pickard jumps in for Hopkinton, as is Jack Kelly up in lane five. Owen's looking to possibly catch up to some of these swimmers and I that's that's, uh, that's a, a nice turn, turn. And, and see no he breath. went about he went about four strokes before he took a breath and look at how much he gained on these guys so let's see all right come on Owen nice he did breathe right there but that's, that's all right okay. wow all right he has caught one of them and he's he's catching up Wow, this is exciting, Georgia. Look at this. They are neck yes, and neck. That is pretty that awesome. That is a really nice turn. All right. Come on, Owen. Come on, Owen. This is what I love. Yeah. So he's just pulled out of front. He is. So Owen is in first, and David Pishoff is in the water, followed by Ashlyn in lane two, and Ashlyn in lane four. And Davis Pishoff. Da yeah, Davis Pishoff is flying through the water. He's Jack Kelly also putting up a fight up there in lane five. Good yes, swim. Yes, he is. He's doing Davis a good Pishoff swim. Got to, has about a half a lap lead. All right, and Declan Hanscom is in the water as the anchor over in lane five. Davis is looking fine there. Yes. He is flying through the water. Beautiful turn there. All right. Well, I tell you, that Owen Picard leg really, really uh, yeah. pulled them ahead. Davis would have, you know, done well, but the lead here, um, amazing. Amazing swim by uh, Owen. Yes. And A really phenomenal All right, first great place swim ended up absolutely. in almost a lap lead. Another almost. exciting 400 yards. Yeah, absolutely. Some nice handshaking and high-fiving by those boys. Yeah, all four of them had good swims. Yes. They really did. All right. Come on, Declan. Come on, Declan. Look at Declan. Yep. And he can take go. it. He's going for it. Let's see. Can yes. he do it? Can he do it? <laughs> all right. What a way to end the meet, Hopkinton. Oh, my goodness. That was some strong finish by Declan Hanscom. And here we were uh, talking about the first place finish, which was amazing, but those guys in lane five, Declan was the one that really uh, pulled that out there. Yeah. Phenomenal. Well, All right. Um, so now we just have to wait for them to announce the final score. I don't really know if it went in the... Hopkinton's direction. I, you know, I don't know either. These are the days where I miss Mr. Fisher, who kept a running score in his head. Yeah, that's pretty Being the impressive. actuary that he is. Um, and uh, throughout the years, there have been a couple of people who always used to keep score. But um, like I said, for next meet, we'll try to get the scoring tables information so we can... Um, relay some official times. Uh, it's always a delay, of course, but um, still. All right. So now are they doing handshakes? Yeah. What's that guy's name, the pool guy? Oh, Chappie. Chappie. And Chappie is back, the pool. The pool, he is the pool operator here at Milford High School. <laughs> He's a legend. You know what I've always said? You have to be a particular type of person to have that job. Yes, so, this is true. You know, and it, it's, a, it's a hard work. There's several teams and activities that run out of here. So. Yep. So. Let's see. While well, they tally it up. Are they going to announce do, do, do. it? I hope so.
You know, and another thing to remember um, that often helps, I mean, in this case, we only have one diver and Ashlyn had none, but so that's an automatic first that we get uh, for that. So that's, is it five points first? Six. Six. Um, some years where we've had two or three divers and another team has had none. Well, I don't know, uh, fans, we, I, I don't know how long uh, we want to stay on the air here. I don't know I why they haven't. I don't know. They Last year they weren't announcing scores. All right. Or I don't know. But um, you should check out um, HHS underscore VSD, the Instagram account. They'll probably post it later. Um, but it looks like, I don't yeah. know. Looks I don't like know. But I think anything. we're going to sign off. Yes, tune in next week, next Wednesday versus Holliston Medway, uh, reigning TVL champs, so should be interesting. It should be. All and right. Have a nice night. Good night.